Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from the 99 Bikes Green Team Challenge for 2022 with my absolutely amazing Merida eBig 9 300 SE. An absolutely spectacular bike which I've grown to love so much over the last, oh, what was it, 16 weeks or so of this challenge or 99 days challenge. And today will be sort of my review of the challenge itself. Before I began this challenge, I was something of a cycling purist where if it was an e-bike, if it assisted you in terms of cycling, then it wasn't really a bike. But that view has definitely changed, and especially over the course of this challenge. Because an e-bike isn't just there to stop you from putting effort in, it's there to assist you in various different ways. So like if you've got an injury, or if you just want to cycle in somewhere without getting too sweaty, then an e-bike is absolutely perfect. If you just don't feel up for it for the day, or whatever reason it is that you can't put in 100% of the effort, an e-bike is the perfect sort of implement that you can use to get you out the door and get you away from driving or something else like that. And get you onto the bike, which is awesome. And up until this challenge, I had a pretty bad habit of driving almost everywhere, whether it be to work, which was only eight kilometers away, or whether it was to just something around the corner, a couple of k's away. I would drive absolutely everywhere, and there's no reason to need to drive all the time. But by having an e-bike, it really just helped get me out of the house and out of the car. And actually, for those, especially at the smaller trips, an e-bike is absolutely perfect, because you can just, you don't have to put too much effort in, you're not gonna be too sweaty at your destination, and you can just enjoy getting out there and cycling, as opposed to having to drive, potentially even dealing with traffic on that one or two kilometre little commute. And there's definitely something about cycling into and home from work. Uh, when you cycle into work, it energises you up, it gets your blood pumping, gets you ready for the day. Whereas when you cycle home, it's a good relaxing sort of way to get home. You cycle through the trees, looking at the sky. The challenge itself was good fun too. Over the course of the 99 days, I got to make a whole bunch of different videos and give my perspective on a whole bunch of different things. And it really opened myself back up to that creativity that I used to do back years ago. I'd lost a little bit, so it was really nice getting back into that. And also with this being my first off-road bike, my first real mountain bike, um, learning how to ride one of these has been absolutely amazing. And the fact that you can ride this practically anywhere is just awesome. So much fun. Road bikes have their own sort of fun on the flat, but on a mountain bike, you can just go anywhere. I'd like to say the challenge was all roses and happy times, but there was a few issues I had along the way. Right, for starters, in the first few weeks of the challenge, I caught COVID. <laughs> so out of all times to catch COVID, that was not the best time. And that put me out for a little while, which was a bit frustrating. And then as soon as I had sort of recovered from that, I had a bit of a bike accident. I came off my bike. And this is to sort of serve as a bit of a reminder to everyone that even though you might have mountain bike tires, even though you might be really comfortable on a bike, if you go over a metal grate, even if it's like on a regular path, which people cycle along all the time, if you go along a metal grate and that metal grate is wet, then you have a high likelihood of just slipping off. And I took off a bit of skin on my arm. Don't know if you can see it anymore because it's mostly healed over now, which is great. And it's also another reason why I bought these gloves, partially because they're nice and warm and it's getting a bit cold and gloves can definitely help. But also because when I had the accident, I slipped and fell on this hand, took off a bunch of skin on this hand. So definitely recommend cycling with some sort of protection on your hands. So in terms of the injury, I managed to get away not too bad. Bit of a bruised rib, which I'm still somewhat dealing with, and a bit of a hematoma in my fingers, which have been pinching on the nerves a little bit. So not great fun, but these are the sort of things you deal with when you've got a bike, especially a mountain bike. But even with that one little mishap, well, that's not gonna set me back from cycling. I still love cycling. Um, and this e-bike, this Merida eBig 9 300 SE is still absolutely fantastic. Um, it's an all-around e-bike. It uses the e-bike functionality, I think, in the best way possible, which as a mountain bike, one of the bigger deterrents 
from me ever getting into mountain bikes in the past is that you get to the top of the hill, that's great. You go down the hill, that's great fun. But then you have to cycle back up. And that's where the e-bike capability comes in. Great, because you just pop the uh, assistance level on and cruise right to the top of the hill. Realistically, it's very similar to just having more gears in a way in that like on the right hand side of my bike I have the regular gears but then the left hand side of my bike I have the e-bike capability and the assistance levels and so it just acts like that left hand side gears like I was used to on my road bike. If I could sum this whole challenge into one word I'd say fun. It was just a fun challenge um, to be able to get out there and see what trips I can do on my e-bike where I can cut down on my car usage. And I found a lot of opportunities to be able to do that. And even just the general opportunity of being able to go out cycling and have fun. On an e-bike, you don't have to worry about potentially getting caught down a hill and having to cycle up it and running out of energy and yada, yada, yada. You can just enjoy the ride regardless. And the other part of the challenge, which I thought was awesome as well, was all the other green team members. All those folks from across Australia, you guys are amazing. I loved watching your videos and your take on all of the different topics that we wanted to cover and seeing everyone just flourish in this green team challenge for 2022. So I wanna say thank you 99 Bikes. This was an awesome challenge. I had so much fun and go green team. So the last thing to say is thanks for watching and cheerio.